How's it going ladies and gents, it's your friendly neighborhood content creator. We've got Ito here and I'm gonna do a little bit of a guide, just a tiny bit. This will help you decide whether or not you should pull on Ito, especially if you're a free to play player. I'm gonna show you guys the utmost free to play type build I can show you guys. Before I do start, I want to remind you guys that if you do enjoy this video, please consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel. It will be greatly appreciated and let's get straight into the content so here we have my arataki ito at level 80 out of 90 uh his max hg is around 18k his attack is around 1k his defense is around 2.3k and obviously he doesn't have any elemental mastery moving on to the details or his actual stats we can see that his crit rate is actually pretty well built it's 72.4 percent as the crit damage is around 131.6 his energy recharge is a little bit lower than what I want it to be. Uh, you want it to be around 135% for that sweet spot to get your ultimate up all the time. But I currently have 129.2%. Alright, here I have the white blind weapon. And as you guys know, this weapon is probably the most free to play you can get uh, in the game currently. For, you know, Arataki Ito in general. And it's going to perform adequately well. The artifact set, I'm running the four piece that bonus for the husk of opulent dreams this is going to give me that extra 24 percent geo damage bonus as well as defense which is going to help out a lot and we have zero constellations on him as well as 777 on all of his all of his talents the only thing I, that's slowing me down currently is just mora in general so once i do get enough mora i will make a, another video but i think this should be fine for now here we go um, something I think is incredibly important to mention is his team composition. This is the number one thing you must decide before you pull on his banner. So when you do pull on his banner, you can't just, oh, I'm just going to do one wish, get Ito and dip because it's a little more complicated than that. Ito needs a geo composition and I really really mean that because he sort of gets a lot of help from it especially from the geo particle generation and other means such as the uh, Zhongli for defense resistance reduction or maybe Goru. Goru is the best support for him currently and he is going to help out tremendously currently or right now my level 60 out of 70 Goru is doing so much work especially because of his ultimate as well as his elemental skill it's really really good so currently i'm running the fafonius warbo on him and his artifact set is the husk of Alvin dreams but as you guys can see not exactly fully built either and once i do get him up there it'll be a little bit better especially because i do have four <laughs> constellations on goru so that's uh that's really really good and his stats are currently at 181. I put all my resources into the elemental skill. And that's what I think you guys should do as well if you're going to even have him. So what his elemental skill does is gives you a buff depending on how many characters of Geo uh, are in your team. So currently I have three. So I get all of these buffs. I get a defense bonus. I get a, you know, interruption bonus or resistance to interruption rather. As well as a Geo damage bonus. This is really, really good because this is pretty much his entire kit is in his elemental skill really powerful all right so obviously we have his alt his alt is really really important but you don't really have to level it up in order for it to actually work all you need is this town right here and you'll be good to go if you use your ultimate you get 25 percent increased defense percentage for all of your Nibar party members for 12 seconds which is massive really powerful stuff here and obviously, you can make Goru a little bit stronger by his level 70 talent, but it's not really that necessary. All you need is his level 40 talent, as well as some increased, you know, levels on his elemental skill. Something I was surprised about with, you know, the, you know, whole Arataki Ito composition teams is that Arataki Ito doesn't necessarily need three Geo characters in order for him to perform adequately. You can have two characters and then two characters of, you know, other things and he'll perform incredibly well. So you can maybe run a Toma as well as a Bennett in order for you to get that extra, you know, Pyro Resonance and ride in Shogun for the energy recharge for your, you know, team compositions here. Something I found out about Arataki Ito is that you probably need a shielder in your team. 
Why I say that is because during his actual elemental burst, he decreases his own elemental and physical resistance by 20%. That is big. That is one fifth of your, you know, entire elemental resistance physical. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. He now is super squishy when he's in his ultimate form. Um, obviously, this does go away after the ultimate, but during his ultimate, he's very squishy. That's why you want somebody to shield him. Maybe if you're really lucky, you have Zhongli. Or, you know, if you don't have Zhongli, you can have Toma instead. Uh, Toma is a really good shielder as well in this situation. So yeah, you want to have someone with a shield to help you really get the most out of his kit. And um, if you also have a Goru, that's Constellation 4, he actually does heal you. So maybe you don't want to run a Barber or whatever if you do have Goru at C4. And just stack defense on him. Just absolutely stack defense and he is going to heal you based on his defense. So that's a really good thing. But yes, uh, all in all, I really enjoy Arataki Ito as a character in general. I feel like he's a little lackluster during his you know he's a little lackluster without his ultimate or without his elemental burst because he just shouldn't be on the field he doesn't do that much damage the only time that he would be on you know on the field doing any damage is you know throwing ushi onto the field and uh, you know and then switching to another character just deal that 500 percent or 600 percent or whatever how much damage that he does with ushi and get out of the field really quick and uh, other than that he shouldn't be on the field other than, you know, elemental burst, using Uchi, finishing the ultimate, you know, the elemental burst, switching to another character. So you want to use your Zhongli, you want to use your Goru, you want to use your Bennett, your Raiden Shogun, whoever, to get the energy particles back to Ito so he can run his ult um, again. So you just want to do this over and over again in order for him to totally work. Other than that, I really like his character design, his personality, his demeanor, just the way he acts. And uh, I really like this character in general. Does perform adequately well, will help you do whatever you want in the game. As long as you have a proper composition to help him, uh, he's going to be really, really good. So as of right now, his damage is actually pretty good and i do want to mention that without this current composition that i have now whose damage has decreased tremendously and in order for you to really get the most out of arataki Ito, you want his weapon on him stone thresher obviously without it you lose around 30 percent of his total damage he still is strong nonetheless if you are free to play you can get him a crazy amount of attack using goru using bennett using whoever you, you could even use Sara, and you can get him to around maybe 5,000, 6,000. One more thing to mention, if you do have Goru at C6, you can increase his own Geo damage, uh, or crit damage rather. You can get around 40%, which is bonkers. That's a lot of Geo damage, crit damage. That's a mouthful to say, but all in all, I really like this character. I like Ushi. Ushi is really powerful for no reason. Pops his head, looks really cool. All in all, well done, Mihoyo. I really do like this character. But yeah, that's gonna be it from me. Uh, for free to play players, if you do not care about a character like Shunha, or a character like Yunjin, or a character like maybe Aimiko, you do want to skip this character. Obviously, if you don't care about those other characters, this character, Arataki Ito, he will perform adequately. He will do the damage you need. All right, that's it from me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for the tremendous support. You guys absolutely destroyed the support past few days, past few weeks, actually. And I am really, really thankful for that. And hopefully you guys have a Merry Christmas. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.